As I've previously noted, Joe Biden uh, dropped out of the race yesterday. I was wrong. I thought he was going to stay in until November. I didn't think there would be any way they could get him out. However, there are some interesting things going on with that. First of all, he dropped out via a screenshot of a letter that was not written by him. It was a digital signature on that letter, and handwriting analyses um, indicate that it doesn't matter. Handwriting analysis is as much science as seeing the future in tea leaves or reading tarot cards, so that's irrelevant. Um, but there are some weird questions going on because he hasn't made any public appearances. His schedule is clear for the entire week, and um, the announcement was only made on Twitter. And then a bunch of paperwork was filed behind the scenes with the SEC, or sorry, the FEC. It's just raising a lot of questions. And then today, there was an odd update from Biden's doctor, according to Brian Harrison, uh, saying that President Biden has completed his uh, his 10th dose of Paxlovid this morning. His symptoms have almost uh, resolved completely. His pulse, blood pressure, respiratory rate, and temperature remain absolutely normal. His oxygen saturation continues to be excellent. Uh, on room air, his lungs remain clear. The president continues to perform all of his presidential duties. I will continue to keep your office updated with any changes in his condition or treatment plan. This was sent, of course, to the press secretary. Weird thing to say and really weird timing, especially considering he was going to isolate for about 10 days, if I remember correctly, although my memory may be a little bit off. Um, but again, there are there's nothing uh, public going on. Um, in fact, OSINT Defender says, according to Israeli sources, a meeting at the White House, which was scheduled to take place tomorrow between Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, during his ongoing visit to the United States, has now been canceled. And Netanyahu is now attempting to and demanding a meeting with Donald Trump instead. So something weird really weird is going on. And I want to thank a member of my audience, Justin Kuhn, uh, on Twitter for uh, for providing some of these links to me. He, uh, he's been sending me a lot of information, and it is definitely helping with my research process. Zero Hedge posted this today. It seems the question, is Joe Biden alive, may be going up on uh, on Twitter. And it's actually a, or not on Twitter, on Google searches. It uh, It's not a... Um, unreasonable question to ask. I'm not saying that he's not, but uh, some people who were alive at the time are saying that this looks very similar to the time that uh, Stalin r retired. Um, we'll just put it that way, the end of the party. From Breitbart News, Joe Biden will hold no public events all weeks uh, to explain, or all week to explain why he stepped aside. President Joe Biden will hold no public events all week to explain why he stepped aside, according to the White House schedule released on Monday. The lack of public appearance will increase concerns about Biden's health or whether or not he's actually alive at all. Weekend Bernie's anybody? Uh, many uh, commentators believe that Biden's lack of a public appearance to announce his decision will fuel calls for him to resign from the presidency, again, assuming he's even alive at this point, citing fears that he is not able to run the executive branch. Uh, let's see, according to uh, Michael Perez Exner, is the MSM going to ask uh, for some sort of public appearance by President Biden, or are they just sticking with their absurd he's a hero talking point, and Americans are all supposed to just move on like there is nothing unusual about this? Look, there's nothing unusual about this completely unprecedented event that has never happened before. Uh, we do need proof of life. Um, according to John Cardillo, uh, gfoder.id says quitting when you're clearly uh, incapacitated on a Sunday from an account you don't control is so painfully suspicious, and I wish we could just have a normal, not sketchy AF thing happen for a change. Julie Kelly says absolutely unacceptable. WTF is going on. The lack of a statement made in public comes as Biden doubted if Harris could defeat President or former President Donald Trump before he decided to step aside. Three Biden aides familiar with recent talks about his plans told Axios. It appeared former President Barack Obama played a significant role behind the scenes in Biden's decision to step aside. Uh, Obama did not question the validity of Biden's candidacy until Wednesday in a Washington Post leak. The leak followed reports that surfaced just hours before former uh, Speaker uh, Nancy Pelosi 
uh, and House Minority Leader uh, Hakeem Jeffries and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer told the president to step aside. Uh, the timing of the leak uh, to the Post suggests in an er, suggests an organized effort by the Democrat leaders to convince Biden to drop out after weeks of chaos within the party amid continued media scrutiny on Biden's political viability. By the way, it does appear, aside from Schumer, I've not seen either way on Schumer, but Jeffries, Pelosi, and then the Clintons have all endorsed um uh, well, Kamala Harris. Um, it also looks like Gavin Newsom and Gretchen Whitmer have also endorsed Kamala Harris. I know that Whitmer is not trying to be Harris's VP. I don't know if Newsom is trying or not, but it is starting to look like not a lot of people want to be on this sinking ship. Uh, Obama has not endorsed Harris as of the recording of this video, to my knowledge. It's possible he has, and I've just missed that news. I have a very busy life. The idea here is that uh, Obama, Pelosi, Jeffries, and Schumer do not want to be seen as backroom party bosses engineering a Harris uh, coronation. Well, it seems as though that's actually what's going on and is exactly what happened. Uh, Playbook reported, and if there's a real challenge, uh, then they want to be able to unite the party again when there's a nominee, which is looking like will likely be Harris. Uh, from what I am seeing, she will likely have enough delegates um, to get the required nomination by the end of day on Wednesday. Democrats appear to be coalescing around Harris, uh, including Hillary and Bill Clinton. The rumor is that they're trying to work Hillary in as the VP. Don't know if that's that's going to happen. And the squad, the top Democrats uh, who have not backed Harris in public are Obama, Pelosi, Jeffries, and Schumer. Although uh, Pelosi had backed um, Harris by the time I recorded this. So they have not updated this article, it seems. Uh, Harris is not very popular with a 38.6% approval rating. According to 538, Biden's approval rating is 38.5. So roughly, roughly uh, three points better than Biden. Both approval ratings mark uh, or rating marks are below the 50 percent threshold that an incumbent typically needs to win election. However, Kamala isn't technically an incumbent. And even if they 25th Amendment Joe, she's not really going to be an incumbent, despite what they're going to claim. The fact of the matter is, where is Joe? What is happening? Is he alive? I want to know your thoughts correctly and not against any terms of service or Fed posting down in the comments below. Then head over to my locals page, thearthurnicks.locals.com, where you can support me for $3 a month. Till next time, thanks for watching.